requires a rapid response, the military looks to BAE Systems for a solution. From the Hertie family of unmanned air vehicles to the Eurofighter, BAE Systems Military Air Solutions designs, manufactures and supports some of the most advanced military aircraft in the world. Traditionally we've been a business that's produced products and then delivered them to the customer and the customer's then been responsible for service. We're now in a new business area where we're actually managing the maintenance of our aircraft for our customer and going into something we call availability based contracting. So it's fundamental that we understand the configuration of all the assets in that domain. For example, if we provide a spare we have to ensure it's at the right configuration to support the flying of that aircraft. If it's not, then BAE manages the, the, the profit and loss associated with that. Supporting and maintaining military aircraft up to 50 years requires a proven PLM solution and a true partnership. We have this requirement to replace our current PDM system and we knew the, the changing nature of the business in terms of the through life support strategy but there was only the Siemens product which provided that capability integrated within a single application set. Siemens basically came out top of, uh, top of those suppliers across both the actual engineering side of things and more importantly the support side. Some of our products have to last 50 years and typically our engineering systems have finished at the point at which we deliver product. Team Centre, one of the key selection criteria would help us beyond that. The whole idea of Team Centre is that it's meant to support the full life cycle of the aircraft. We replace a wing, we replace a cockpit, we replace the ejection seat and that has a ripple effect on all the other deliverables, not just the manufacturing deliverables, but the technical publications will need updating, the spares will need reordering, and our goal really on the PLM side is to manage that change throughout the entire product, not just the actual manufacture, not just the actual design standard, but all the products that we deliver to the customer as a result of any change that we apply. Team Centre provides the through life capability management in one application so all the data from when we get the customer requirements through the the design the build into support is managed all in a single database all in one application. We're using Team Centre in a number of areas across BA systems uh, Typhoon is perhaps the biggest, which is uh, operational aircraft, the MRA-4, or the Nimrod as most people would know, it's another area. And we're also using Team Centre in our new UAB businesses. All the engineers then just have one data source of which um, they, they are working concurrently against, so it will collapse lead times and improve the efficiency of operation. Team Centre supports collaboration both internally and externally. Internally, the collaboration is supported by um, it being a single source data set for, for all engineers. Externally, it's a web based application, so that provides easy access from a customer and supplier point of view. We're currently using Team Centre community um, with our supplier base and we are finding benefits there in terms of sharing information and um, drastically collapsing the lead time of passing information between the supplier and ourselves. But invariably when you collapse lead times you, you save costs and that's a key driver. But another driver is actually responsive to this to the customer. From a Eurofighter perspective we've got uh, four partner companies, BA Systems, got EADSD, EADC, Alenia involved as well, so Germany, Spain, Italy and the UK are involved. We are each manufacturing and designing and responsible for the delivery and the ownership of different elements of the aircraft. So we are exchanging data from our existing PDM systems. I believe a number of them are now using the Siemens uh, PLM Team Centre toolset as well. One of the things I was determined in the early selection was we were going to use a system which we didn't have to heavily customise. The ability of Team Centre to, to be configurable with ease is what's making it possible for us to get to where we need to be in, in the timescales that we're planning to implement it by. 
typically we would take 18 months to two years on a, on a major deployment. For the HERTI programme, which is one of our unmanned vehicle programmes, it took 12 weeks to deploy PLM. And that was done by the team working together and really challenging the way things should be done and how they would best manage the risk. The ability for BAE to support the application once the Siemens consultants have left and uh, our ability to manage and tailor workflows will significantly reduce the through life cost of supporting the application. In the aerospace and defence industry, when you're working with high technology products and in some cases very risky programmes, it's important not to create more risk than you need. We selected Siemens um, on the basis that they have been one of the market leaders they would then be in a position to support the product over the time frame that, that aircraft are in service. The stability and experience is very, very important. Our products have very long life cycles. Sometimes our products can be in service for more than 50 years. We also have very tight timescales to deliver very complex technology programmes and it's very important to us that we have people who understand and provide us with continuity and that's been a real success story so far. Because customer satisfaction and revenue begins with the aircraft in service, it's vital to the future of BAE to achieve success with the service availability business model. With their own expertise and experience, combined with that of their PLM partner, BAE Systems is positioned for growth and leadership.